Can I visit every monument in DC in just 24 hours? From Lincoln to Jefferson and everything in between. Let's find out if this epic challenge is even possible. Hello and welcome to Washington DC. Today I'm gonna to be going to the Lincoln Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, and all the other smaller memorials on that side of the National Mall. I'll share with you some important information. Let's head out and start exploring. DC. First up, the Washington Monument. This is a 555 foot obelisk dedicated to George Washington, our first president. Keep in mind, tickets sell out very quick to go up. This was the line when I went to get tickets and they completely sold out before I could get one. The view must be incredible up there, but we won't be able to experience it today. So book your tickets online. Anyway, on to the next place. Welcome to our next monument in this challenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just made it to the World War II Memorial. And this memorial honors all of the people who served in World War II and it commemorates their service and what they did for us. So as you come down into the World War II Memorial, you can see that they have a fountain here, a really big one too. And we'll start off here on the Pacific side of the monument. So as we come on this side, it shows the region. So we have Guam, American Samoa, Hawaii, District of Columbia, DC, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, Montana, and more. But it goes all the way around and we have this view overlooking the fountain. So freedom Freedom Wall holds 4,048 gold stars, and each of the stars represent 100 American service personnel who died or remained missing during the war, and the over 400,000 who died was only second to the American Civil War, where 620,000 Americans died. Here we can see on this side of the monument the wall with the stars commemorating all of the people who lost their lives during the war serving. So on this wall it says here we mark the price of freedom and what that means is this is honoring all of the people who served in the war and lost their lives. As you can see the World War II Memorial is an awe-inspiring memorial but now it's time to head to the next memorial. Next up on the list is the Korean War Memorial, and this memorial depicts 19 U.S. soldiers in a Korean rice field, and it honors those who served in that war. All right, so we're arriving at the next war memorial. This is the Korean War Veterans Memorial. And as you come in, first along the black walls, it shows all of the people who lost their lives or are missing in action during the war. And then over here, we have the fountain right here. And over there, it says freedom is not free. As we leave these ghost-like statues behind, it's time for monument number four. Now we arrive at our fourth monument, the Lincoln Memorial. The Lincoln Memorial was built in 1922, and it was built to honor Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. The Lincoln Memorial is such an iconic place to visit, and looking down the reflecting pool is an iconic view in D.C. Please keep in mind that right now there are heavy renovations going, and they're not expected to be completed until July of 2026. Currently, they have a temporary ramp set up to go because the elevator is out of service, and half the steps are currently being redone. This video was filmed in July of 2024, so make sure to check for any updates about construction going on at the memorial. Welcome to the memorial dedicated to our 16th president. This memorial has a 19-foot marble statue of President Lincoln sitting down. And it also has the reflecting pool. And as you know, this building is a Parthenon-inspired structure. This memorial is something you need to check out at least once during your visit in DC. I'd also recommend you come here at night to get a view looking down the mall with everything lit up at the top. It says, in this temple, as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the Union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. While Lincoln sits up there, he's looking east out towards the Washington Monument and the Capitol building. Absolutely check out the Lincoln Memorial if you're in DC, but now it's time for monument number five. All right, we have made it to our next memorial of the day, and this is the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. And this memorial pays tribute to Dr. King's fight for equal rights, and it's also near where he delivered the I Have a Dream speech. And this is actually one of the only memorials that is dedicated to a non-president of the United States. So, it's pretty cool. The MLK Memorial is also one of the more recent memorials in DC, opening in 2011. It's a great memorial to check out. Now let's head off to number seven. Next, we get to the FDR Memorial. The Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial opened in 1997, and it was built to honor FDR's work serving four times as president. That's right, four times. He's the only US president to serve more than two terms. This memorial is absolutely massive. It's seven and a half acres big, and it has seven different fountains. It also has famous quotes, such as this one, which is the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. 
That's his most famous quote. This memorial is a great place to hang out, and it's usually not busy. When I came here, there was absolutely nobody. This monument is a great place to hang out, and it's really relaxing, and it's a nice place to get away from the crowds. Now, let's head off to monument number eight. Now we arrive at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial was built to honor Thomas Jefferson, one of our main founding fathers and the primary author of the Declaration of Independence. It is based off the Pantheon in Rome and is a massive and grand monument. So this memorial was built between 1939 and 1943 and it was built to commemorate Thomas Jefferson who was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence. Carved on the walls are five excerpts, four from letters, and one from the Declaration of Independence, which is this one. The statue of Thomas Jefferson is 19 feet tall. This monument is a must-do in D.C. and one you need to check out. With that, we visited every DC monument with just 24 hours. That was an epic challenge and a great way to see the city. And now that you've seen what it's like visiting all of the monuments in DC, it's time for you to check out the most underrated stuff. So check out that video on the right of the screen.